What's going on everybody, Jason here, and today I'm gonna to be comparing the 2022 Ram 1500 Bighorn versus the 2022 Ram 1500 Sport. In this comparison, I'm gonna be talking about the different trims that you can get with the Ram 1500s. Also, I'm gonna be talking about the safety features that come standard on both of these trucks, as well as the standard exterior options, followed by your interior standard options, and then finally, what type of engines you can get with either or. I'll also be showing the window sticker for each of these trucks, as they do have some up Upgraded options, but in this video, I'm going to be talking only about the standard options that do come with this. However, if you do want to upgrade to some options, you can get them depending on which one you choose. Also, right before I jump into this comparison video, if you enjoy these types of reviews and comparisons, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and also hit the like button because it does help out with the channel and it helps with the YouTube algorithm. With that being said, let's jump into the comparison of the 2022 Ram 1500 Bighorn versus the 2022 Ram 1500 Sport and see what they're all about. Now, when it comes to the Ram 1500s, let's talk about the different trim levels that you can get. You can either get the Tradesman, the Bighorn, Sport, Rebel, Laramie, Longhorn, or the Limited. Depending on your budget, you can choose the one that best fits it. Now, as for the standard safety features that come with both of these trucks, on the Bighorn, you're not going to get any standard safety features, but you can get other packages that are available and will get you more safety features. And you'll notice on this particular Bighorn, it does have your ParkSense front park assist with stop that's because that is a part of the package that this truck has which is the bighorn level 2 equipment group whereas on the sport model you're going to get your advanced brake assist and your full speed for collision warning and same thing goes for this if you do want more safety features you can get the available packages that are available taking a look at both of these trucks from the front you can see there's quite a bit of difference between the two trims because with the bighorn you're going to get your chrome bumpers your chrome badging and the chrome grill surround also with the bighorns you're going to have your quad halogen headlights as well as your halogen fog lights whereas on the sport trim you're gonna have your body color bumpers your blacked out badging and then your body color grill surround also because you're stepping into a sport you're gonna have your standard led headlamps and your standard led fog lamps the front park sense park assist sensors will be a part of your level 2 equipment group coming over to the side of these trucks starting with the bighorn standard you're also gonna get your chrome power folding side mirrors and you'll have your body color door handles like i mentioned your your badging everything is all in chrome as well and as for your wheels these will be your 18 inch aluminum wheels you do have the option of upgrading them to 20 inch and standard with both trucks you're gonna get a 3.21 rear axle ratio which of course can be upgraded to a higher one now as for the sport this is going to give you your body colored side mirrors and the same thing on this you're gonna have your body color door handles along with your black badging all around the truck and as for your wheels these will be your standard 20 inch painted polished wheels however just like the bighorn these can also be upgraded to the 22 inch coming to the rear of the trucks as you see just like the front the rear also has its differences between the two on the bighorn just like the front bumper your rear bumper will be in chrome as well and over on your tailgate like i mentioned the whole badging on this truck is in full chrome you also do get just the standard tail lights you've got a hitch at the bottom and then you do have your plugs and whatnot right above that as for your hitch at the back this is going to be a part of your bighorn level 2 equipment group as well for the 2022 models on both trucks, if you take a look underneath your tailgate handle, you will have this LED light now. Also with the Bighorn, this particular truck does have the rear power sliding window, but standard, you're not going to get that on the Bighorn unless you get one of the packages. Now over on the Sport, just like the front as well, you're going to have your rear body color bumper. You've got your hitch there, and then right above that, you've got all your wiring and whatnot. On the tailgate, just like the badging in the front and the side, all of this is blacked out as well. But on the Sport model, because you have your LED front lights the fog lights even your tail lights are these nice looking led tail lights with the sensor in the middle also what's standard with the sport trim is that you'll get a rear power sliding window also when you open up the tailgate you'll notice standard these trucks will not have your spray and bed liner but as you see on this sport this is the aftermarket spray and bed liner or you can even get it from the factory and that goes for both trucks both of them also will not have your led bed lighting however you can get that as an available option taking a look at the interior we'll start off with the bighorn here and as you see you've got kind of a two-tone thing going on with the bighorns you'll have vinyl bits and pieces and up by your door handle you'll have this gray cloth insert surrounded by this satin chrome aluminum finish and kind of that marble type of a trim which you'll notice throughout the whole interior other than that it's a pretty similar setup to the sport model now as for the actual seats themselves the bighorns only come with the cloth seats and this interior is your black with diesel gray and that's because this has the bench seating up front if you got the bucket seats you'll 
interior would be black on black then. You'll notice on the floor, this Bighorn does have your rear and floor storage bins. Typically, you are not going to get this on the Bighorn, and that's because this truck has the Bighorn Level 2 Equipment Group. As for behind the driver and passenger seat, these are fully cloth seats like I mentioned, and you do get two map pockets for that additional storage. If you go with the standard bench seating, this is how your rear center console area will look. You'll have some space at the bottom along with your venting, some USB ports, and a 115 volt plug. Now, as you make your way to the front of the Bighorn, it's exactly like the rear. And as for the speaker system, typically standard, you're going to get your six speakers, but you can upgrade that to the nine Alpine speaker system. As for your front seats, like I mentioned, this particular Bighorn does have the bench seating setup. So as you see, you do have a third seat in the middle there. If you go with the bucket seats, you're going to have this nice center console area with a ton of room. Now, like I mentioned, because this Bighorn has the Bighorn level two equipment group, your front seats will become heated seats along with your heated steering wheel because typically you will not get those standard. Also, a part of the Bighorn level two equipment group, which you're not going to get standard with the Bighorns, is your power adjustable driver seat. With the level two package, you're also going to get your power adjustable pedals, which typically you will not get. As for the center gauge cluster in your Bighorn, it's going to be identical to the sport model because you've still got that center screen there to move things around and have a bunch of different information about your truck. Now, as for your center screen here, typically standard on a Bighorn, you're only going to have the five inch screen, but that can be upgraded with the available options. And this system will be your new and redefined Uconnect 5 system, which is so much better. Over on the passenger side in your glove department, it's the exact same as any Ram 1500 trim. And you do have a secondary storage compartment right above that. So you have two separate ones if you do want to use them. And here is the window sticker for the 2022 Ram 1500 Bighorn. You've got the typical truck information along with your standard equipment right below that. And then you've got your optional equipment. And as you can see, it doesn't really have much optional equipment, but there's a ton more that you can choose from. And then you've got your price at the bottom. This is in Canadian dollars, just minus any dealer discounts or manufacturing discounts if they are being offered. Now, heading into the rear of the sport trim, you'll notice the door trim area is much more cleaner looking with some of the paneling that's a little bit different, but everything else is pretty much the same. Rather than having that cloth piece by your door handle, you now have a leather piece. And right above that, you do have this nice shiny black trim accent piece, which is throughout the whole interior of the cabin. As for the interior, these are your fully, fully leather seats. Now with the whole chip shortage going on, some of these options may not be available at the time of recording this video, but this particular sport does have the full leather seats. Also, these rear seats will be heated seats as well. Behind the driver and passenger seat, like I mentioned, this is your fully leather interior, and you've also got the same matte pockets on both sides for that additional storage. Now, here's what the rear center console would look like if you've got the bucket seats. You have your two cup holders up top, surrounded by more of that shiny black trim, venting underneath with some space in the middle. You've got your USB ports and your buttons for the rear heated seats, and then underneath, you do have your 115 volt plug as well. Now, something that is standard with the sport trim that isn't on the Bighorn are your rear and floor storage bins. Now heading into the front of the sport, it's exactly like the rear. However, you do have two speakers up here. Now this particular sport does have the Rebel 12 package, which from having just the standard six speakers, that's going to upgrade you to the 19 speaker Harman Kardon sound system. As for the front seats, because this truck has the Rebel 12 package and that's why you get the full leather seats, not only will the front seats be heated seats, but they're also going to be ventilated seats as well. I believe at the time of making this video, you cannot order a fresh factory order with the Rebel 12 package. You can only get the vinyl package, but that could change. Standard with the Sport model, you'll only have your power driver seat, but because this one has the Rebel 12 package, your passenger seat will also be power adjustable. Now, like I mentioned with the Bighorn, the power adjustable pedals were the upgradable option. The Sport trim has it standard. Here you see the center gauge cluster, and it's pretty identical to the Bighorn because you've got the exact same information that you can have in front of you so not too much of a difference here. An available option that you can get starting with the sport trim is your wireless charging pad, which will be a part of your comfort and convenience group. Now, as for this beautiful, beautiful 12 inch touchscreen, this is unfortunately not standard with the sport trim because typically you would get the 8.4 inch touchscreen. And like I mentioned, this truck does have the Rebel 12 package, which does upgrade you to the 12 inch screen. And just like the Bighorn, it uses the same software, the Uconnect 5 system. So it's so much better. Coming over to the passenger side, you've got the exact same setup for your glove department and even your secondary department as well. And here is the window sticker for the 2022 Ram 1500 Sport. You've got your typical information about the truck along with your standard equipment right below.
below and then you have your optional equipment and as you can see it has a decent amount of optional upgrades and you can get more if you like then you've got the price at the bottom this is in canadian dollars minus any dealer discounts or manufacturing discounts when it comes to the engine options with these trucks with the bighorn you can choose the 3.6 liter v6 with e-torque which this truck has and that's going to give you 305 horsepower with 269 foot pound of torque and depending on how you spec out your bighorn with that particular v6 you'll be able to tow about 7700 pounds now with the sport trim you have the option of getting the 5.7 liter hemi v8 with mds and e-torque which you cannot get on the bighorn and this will give you 395 horsepower with 410 foot pound of torque and it'll depend the way you spec out your particular truck but that engine will give you towing capabilities of a little over 12,700 pounds now what you can get on both of the trucks that's available is your 5.7 liter hemi v8 fuel saver with mds this is going to give you 395 horsepower with 410 foot pound of torque and like the other two engines depending on how you spec out your truck with this engine you're going to be able to tow a little over 11,600 pounds well that does it for this comparison video on the 2022 ram 1500 bighorn versus the 2022 ram 1500 sport and also let me know in the comments down below which truck do you prefer and do you love these trucks or do you just hate them